Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So I've got quite a few, I'm gonna jump right in. So I'm gonna start with a couple that I didn't wear the, like give these a full good wear test. Um, I just sprayed them on my arms, but I put like six sprays of each on my arms, and I just wanted to share my quick thoughts. Um, so these just came in the most beautiful smelly mail package. You guys would have seen it. This came from my beautiful friend, Velvet Trance, and she sent Mac Turquatic. Um, I have a decant of this that I've had for quite some time. I remember really loving it. So I pulled it out and sprayed it on, and this is beautiful. This is like a really, um, it's like kind of an upscale smelling aquatic. I really enjoyed this one. This, it actually smells really, really good on my skin. And um, I've had really good luck. I just have really good luck with aquatic scents. I don't love aquatic scents a ton, but I have very good luck with them. And some of them, um, the ones that I do love, like Cool Water for Women, Polo Sport for Women, um, the ones that I used to wear like in high school, I still absolutely adore and this reminds me of something that I would have worn in high school but it smells more expensive um, I don't know I really love this so I'm going to um, I'll put this away until springtime and then as soon as it starts to warm um, not that it's not still warm here but um, yeah I might wear it I might actually give well we'll see I may pull this out and wear it before it officially gets cold or I may just put this one away until spring and then pull it out when I'm really ready for kind of fresher scents. Um, but it's stunning, I love it. It's one of the best aquatic scents that I've smelled. I really enjoyed this one. So that is MAC Turquatic. And I'm just keeping them in their boxes because um, they're special to me. And then the other one that I, that I tested on my other arm at the same time, that's another thing I wanted to see if they were similar to each other, um, is this one here. This is Salvador Dali, Dali style. And I love Salvador Dali fragrances. I think that they're incredibly underrated and I adore them. This one, it went through a phase. So when I very first sprayed it, it just smelled like a really beautiful, fresh kind of, um, little bit sharp aquatic. But then after about two or three minutes of it starting to dry down on me, it started to smell exactly like Ralph Lauren Polo Sport. Um, now it doesn't stay that way because this is going to take you on a journey. It's not linear at all. Um, so the, the Polo Sport woman phase hung around for, I don't know, maybe about 10 minutes. And then it dried down to the most beautiful, clean, slightly sweet, um, almost kind of laundry type aquatic. It's another one that I am just gonna love in the spring and summer. It reminds me of something that I wore in high school. So I will absolutely adore this. And the bottle, this bottle is so beautiful. Um, I'm just gonna pull it out and show you really quickly. Salvador Dali bottles are, they're just stunning. So it's just so, so pretty. I love it. So anyways, that is Salvador Dali, Dali style. Okay, next, I knew I wanted to get one more wear in of my Bath & Body Works Watermelon Mojito while it's still warm out. Um, this is Watermelon Soda, Pink Rum, and Cane Sugar. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is like a sweet but fresh watermelon. And when this dries down, you lose most of the watermelon, but you, it stays, I don't know, it kind of dries down to this just sweet, clean, warm scent on your skin. Um, so I put on the lotion and then I also used my body spray. Um, this doesn't last very long. I can get maybe, I think I got maybe three-ish hours out of this or so. Um, not the worst, but definitely not the best, but I love this scent. I think it's beautiful. I also really want to use this up before it goes bad because I'm really bad about buying these lotions, using them once or twice, and then by the time I come back around to them, they've gone off. And I don't want that to happen with this one because it's such a beautiful scent. 
but yeah, I enjoyed that for a few hours. That is Bath and Body Works Watermelon Mojito. We had a day that only got up to, I think maybe 72 degrees or something. It was kind of, it was like downright chilly for me. But on that day, I knew I wanted to pull out one of my CJ scents because I'm just craving these so badly. I'm going through a phase where this is all I want to smell like. I want to smell like a pumpkin cupcake or something. Um, so this is CJ Scents Boo and oh my gosh I love this to me this does smell kind of like a pumpkin cupcake but it's spicy it's like a really creamy really spicy really long-lasting pumpkin scent it's amazing it's and the pumpkin and these scents to me, it smells more like a pumpkin puree, and I love it. It's, they're so amazing. These are some of the longest lasting indie scents I've ever used. These are hands down some of my favorite indie scents in my collection. They just, they perform so incredibly well, and they're so cozy and so comforting, and everything that I've smelled from this house has just been amazing. Um, the only two full bottles I have though are Boo and then Pumpkin Tobacco, but I'm definitely going to be ordering some more this fall because I just love her scents. They're so good. And they, this is an absolute beast. Like you're gonna smell like this for 24 hours. If you spray this on, you're gonna smell like this all day. It's just, it's such an amazing scent. So anyways, that is CJ Scents Boo. Okay, next I wore this beauty. This was sent over from my beautiful friend Jacqueline. This is from Al Rahab and this is called French Coffee. I did do a little research to see if I could find an oil and they do make the oil version of this. So I'm going to, um, I'm gonna see if I can pick up the oil so that I can layer the spray perfume over it. I love this scent. This is, oh my gosh. This is just creamy coffee. Creamy, slightly sweet coffee. I absolutely love this. In fact, this week I'm going to test this. I'm gonna test layering this with black opium to see how that goes. Um, I layered this over this lotion here. This is the EOS um, Vanilla Cashmere Lotion. I absolutely adore this lotion. I think this is my favorite. Yeah, this is one of my favorite lotions that I have in my collection right now. Um, I wear this so often. I also love that it's a clean lotion, so it is paraben and phthalate free. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty darn clean lotion and I love that. Layered, oh my gosh, it was delicious. You get the warm cupcake, cupcakey vanilla from the lotion and then the creamy the creamy sweet coffee layered together it was delicious and um, I think I got about three or four hours out of this I did end up reapplying the perfume and when I reapplied it it got like really really strong because it's one of those fragrances that seems like it kind of layers on itself so the more you reapply it like the stronger it's gonna get um, so yeah, I love this. It's such an inexpensive perfume. I also saw, I think, I think I, I'm pretty sure I saw that they have the Chaco Musk spray on Triple Traders for $4.99. I need to go ahead and pick that one back up because yeah, that was a swap gone wrong. I sent mine off. The other person never sent anything off to me. I think I sent her three bottles of perfume too <laughs> and she never sent anything back. But anyways, yeah, so I need to replace that. Um, this is such a good one. I love it. If you're looking for a good, inexpensive coffee fragrance, this is it. So anyways, that is Al Rahab French Coffee. Okay, next, I'm gonna do a full video on this one, but um, but I, I did give it, I wore this twice last week, so I do definitely wanna talk about it. Um, this is Burberry Goddess. So Burberry so kindly sent this over to me, and I am, so happy because I had been hearing so many good things about this. I knew it was a vanilla fragrance. Oh my gosh, I had it in my Ulta cart when they contacted me and I was super, super excited to be getting this. This I have seen this compared to a lot of things, mostly Mon Guerlain. Um, this is not Mon Guerlain, you guys, not at all. You, you do get a little bit of the lavender 
and you do get it up for a little tiny bit when you spray it on but this dries down to the most beautiful warm pretty simple vanilla this ended up smelling like Tohota on me, which is why I am so in love with this. It ended up, it's super long lasting because it's got that Burberry longevity. I mean, Burberry fragrances are just phenomenal and it's got that Burberry longevity. And on me, when this got to the deep, deep dry down, on me, this ended up smelling just like Tohota, like this beautiful, warm, rich vanilla but it actually lasts because sadly Tohota and even my Coco Pink Tohota dupe, they don't last on me at all. I can get maybe a couple hours out of it before it's completely gone. That goes with the real thing that goes with the dupe. So now I have something that dries down to smell something like that, but that actually performs. I love this scent. If you're a vanilla lover, I cannot recommend it enough. It's delicious, it's gorgeous. Um, I've already worn this twice and I adore it. It's, in fact, it's a fragrance. The reason I wore it twice is because this is a fragrance right now that like this is all I want to wear. Um, in fact, I think when I get done filming this, this is what I'm gonna spray on because I am wearing something else, but it's already wearing off. Um, but yeah, this is all I wanna wear right now. It's such a beautiful vanilla fragrance. Um, so yeah, look for a full video to come and I will, in the video, I will compare it to, Mon to Mon Guerlain so that I can debunk that because it's not Mon Guerlain, not even in the slightest. Um, so anyways, that is Burberry Goddess. Okay, next I wore another beauty that uh, Velvet sent me. This is Kismet Angel from, from Maison Alhambra. Um, I'm keeping all of the fragrances that she sent me with the notes in their boxes because they're so special. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. I think I bought a decant of this and then Velvet sent me a decant of Kamra last year and I love them both. I think they're both incredible, but I like this one the most. Um, I think this one is, of the two, I think this one smells most the most like Angel Share and I just love it. It's beautiful. Um, I saw somewhere had this for $24.99 or something super inexpensive. Um, I did wear this to bed, so and I couldn't smell it when I woke up the next morning, so I'm not sure about the longevity of this one. I have a feeling though that the longer this one sits, the better it's gonna get. So, um, but I love it. I can layer this under my Dua dupe and I think the combination is going to be very long lasting and super beautiful. Um, I love Angel Share and I love this one so much too. So that is Maison, Maison Alhambra Kismet Angel. Okay, and then I wore a whole bunch of um, the decants that she sent me and then I also wore my Dapper Hufflepuff so we'll get to that. I'm gonna leave that one for last. Um, so let's start with these ones. She sent the B-Layer dupe of Baby Cat, of YSL Baby Cat. And this is beautiful. This is, I don't know if this has got aldehydes in it, but I get like an aldehydic opening to this. And then it dries down to this really beautiful kind of animalic, leathery vanilla. But the leather is super, super smooth and it does have a touch of like an animalic quality to it. Um, Almost, this is gonna sound disgusting, but almost like it's a fresh piece of leather, like fresh off the animal kind of thing. And then mixed with vanilla. I really like it. I don't think that this would be for everybody for sure, but I've got a couple different um, dupes of this now and I really, I've got three actually. I've got this one, I've got the genre dupe, and then um, I've got another one. I think it's Paris Corner made a dupe and they're all three beautiful. So yeah, this one lasts a really long time. I think I got a good five or six hours out of this. Um, I wore it in pretty high heat too, so it held up really well for um, the hot weather. I can't wait to test this in cold weather. So that is the first one that is be layered, the dupe of Baby Cat. This next one, this is only two came with the labels where the, la the perfume had bled or where something leaked in the labels bled. I'm gonna have to find out what this is because I am absolutely in love with this. I honestly don't even know how to describe it either. I'm gonna have to get with Velvet and she'll, I'm sure. Oh my gosh. I'm sure she'll be able to figure out which one this is. 
This is kind of light, it's a little bit powdery, it's a little bit floral, it's really warm smelling, it's clean, it's sweet. She might be able to figure out just by my description. It's gorgeous, it's sweet and almost teetering on like gourmand, but it's maybe a little bit too clean and floral to be a gourmand. I have no idea what it is, but I love it and I have to know what it is because I need a bottle of this. It is fantastic. I wore this um, in the evening. I think I, I sprayed it on at about five and I wore it until, and I could smell this until the next day. I wore it like I wore it to bed and everything. I could smell it even the next day. I love this. I don't know what it is and I've never really smelled anything like it before. So it could be a dupe of something that I've just never smelled, but I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I love it so much. I'm going to keep this out because I need to remember to, um, I need to remember to ask her and the, the liquid is either clear or maybe like a really light pink or a really light purple. Yeah. I don't know I love it it's so good when I find out though I will be the first to tell you guys because it is such a good one uh and then I wore this one this is Latafa on some gold this is another one I'm gonna need a full bottle of I think it's supposed to be a dupe of um, Killian love don't be shy but this smells more like Armani C Fiori than it does love don't be shy it's like really heavy on the black currant aspect and less orange blossom and marshmallow. So you, it's more of like a C. Fiori dupe and I love it. It's not quite as syrupy as like Oriana or Love Don't Be Shy. It's more black currant-y the way that C. Fiori, if I'm remembering correctly, it's either black currant or some other berry that's in C. Fiori. I think it's black currant but it, this is so good and this is an absolute monster of a fragrance. Um, this lasts, like C. Fiori doesn't last on me at all. I can get maybe a couple hours out of that, this one, or out of that one. This one I got a good 12 hours out of, like it lasted forever. I am obsessed with this. I saw this on Triple Traders too. They have it on Triple Traders for I think I think $30, $29.99 or maybe $39.99. I don't know. It's worth it. Whatever it is, it's worth it. It's so good. I love this one. So this is Latafa on some gold. If you love C. Fiori, oh, you have to smell that one. Okay. And then the last one, the last decant I wore that she sent is Latafa Eternal Oud. And I believe this is the one that is a dupe for Maison Francis Cartier. Uh, Grand Soir and I love this. This is beautiful. I have Crater which is the Dua dupe of Grand Soir and it leans a little too masculine for me. This is perfect though. This doesn't lean too masculine. This is perfectly unisex. This would smell amazing on a man or a woman or anybody. I love it. It's like a, it's an amber but it's sweet and a little bit spiced. Oh, I'm obsessed. I love it. This is another one I'm going to need to get a full bottle of because I love Grand Soir, but again, my Dua dupe is just a little too masculine for me. I'll wear it, but only in like the coldest cold days of winter. Um, this one I can wear like this one is I could wear in the fall all the way through the winter. This is such a good one. So that is Latafa Eternal Oud. I still, I'm like still, I've got the bag of these sitting here because I'm still working through all of them. Every single one that she has sent me has been such a winner and I've been enjoying them so much. Okay, and then last but not least, this is from Susan. She sent me the dapper dupe of Minnie Mouse and this one here, Hufflepuff. So when I very first got this, I sprayed it on my hand and it seemed like it wore, I think it did wear off very quickly. Um, I don't know that your hand is probably, is probably the best place to um, test perfume. I always have much better luck like on my arms, but I wanted to test them both. So I sprayed Minnie Mouse on one hand and Hufflepuff on the other. The Minnie Mouse was not it and like I would stick with the genre dupe of that. 
This one, however, though, I've completely 180'd with this one. I've 100% changed my mind. Um, this is beautiful. Once, once I actually got this all over, and I really oversprayed. This was a full decant, and I used a good mill and a half of this in one go. So I really oversprayed, probably 10, 12 sprays. Um, once I did that and I got it all over skin, all over clothing, it was phenomenal. It smells exactly like Hufflepuff to me um, on my skin and on my clothing. And on it didn't, I, I wanna say I got maybe five or six hours out of it on skin, but I could smell this on my clothes forever. 12 plus hours probably. Um, so this is actually not bad. I would, I haven't smelled the genre dupe yet and I am going to say that the genre is probably gonna be better than this. Um, genre can be really difficult to get a hold of though. And so if you, you know, if you wanna get a dupe of this and you, you just wanna get it, this is not a bad one at all. This is actually really nice. I would 100% buy a bottle of this after I had tested it. Um, this is a little bit heavy on the peach and I'm not the hugest fan of peach, but I don't know, it's not bad. I don't, I really enjoyed it. I ended up really, really enjoying this one. So I'm glad that I went back to it. I'm gonna go back with the Minnie Mouse too and I'm gonna give that one a good full wear test um, as well because I might change my mind, but I already know that the genre dupe for that one is better. Um, but this one's not bad, not bad at all. So that is the Dapper Hufflepuff dupe. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.